What's up, YouTube? This is King Daddy DMAC coming at you, and uh, here today I've got my very first Federation battle as the new monotype champ. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I was a little nervous starting off just because there's a lot of pressure to win your first battle, but uh, yeah, be able to see how it turns out. I start off with my Scarf Tran lead, go for the overheat, and I'm um, able to fake him out being faster there. But unfortunately, uh, he had a hidden power. I'm guessing it's probably ground, although it could have been fighting, and almost took me out. Thank God it didn't. I switched to my Registeel just because I know it's going to wall it. This is a specially defensive Registeel. I'm going to be able to set up my rocks and also if he were to have the odd hypnosis or something like that I don't mind him going to sleep. I'm able to S toss him out. So, so far eh, it's looking alright. Then he goes into a T-Tar and I hate T-Tars. And what this is even worse, and I was really scared right here because my Weezing can't wall this guy if he starts DDing up. I switched to my Heatran there just in case he did go for the DD. It would be my last chance still being faster to take out that sub. Unfortunately, I'm not. I go for my S-Toss. What the hell? This guy has 101 subs, and he's able to focus punch me out. Now, I'm really scared here that he has a fire-type move because it's about 50-50 between that and uh, the possible Ice Beam, but thank God he doesn't. This Rachi is wicked bulky, and I know, oh, thank God, I'm not going to get sweeped by a freaking sub boa T-Tar in my first Federation battle. So here, I'm just going for Calm Minds. Uh, and uh, he's just going for focus punches. Um, I'm hoping that there's not going to be a crit because this really is my only defense to this guy. Um, and I'm just wishing up, going for the calm minds. He's going for the focus punches, and I'm really hoping that he might switch out. I'm a little afraid to set up too much too early just because I don't know what the rest of his team is yet, and I also don't know what type he is. He had a Yan Mega and he had a T-Tar. So, I, this could be Rock, this could be Dark, this could be Bug, this could be Flying, and I mean, that's a hard part with these wild cards, is that, you know, people are like, oh, it's not a real monotype battle. Well, yeah, maybe it's not exactly true to monotype, but you know what? It also leads to a lot more interesting teams and a lot more difficulties because you have to defend against these teams. Right there, he gets me down to 33 HP, and I believe that was from a crit, but um, thank God it didn't take me out. I'm able to wish up, and I'm able to continue on my uh, calm minding. I am able to break part of sub. Finally, he decides to switch out. And uh, because he keeps seeing me going for the T-Bolt, he assumes that's probably either my only move or I have exactly this psychic. And Claydol is able to uh, easily wall both, at least for the time being. I'm a little afraid he has the explosion, but uh, since he hasn't used yet, and also since I was at full HP, I know Claydol's attack isn't that high, and also since he used Earth Power, he probably doesn't have any. Uh, either doesn't carry the move or his investments are just not there. So I didn't think it would KO me. He goes into the Shuckle. I knew he was going to go for an Encore, so I chose specifically to go for the uh, Psychic. And because of this, I predicted the switch into the T-Tar. I knew to go in the Scissor. Then I knew he was going to switch out, not having the Fire move. I could go for my Sword Dance. Then he brings in his Scissor, and I don't really care what kind of scissor it is, but I know it's not going to most likely be my scissor, because I'm able to, and his, as you can see, is choice banded at this point, I'm able to just um, roost off all that damage, and his attack is going down, his defense is going down, and this is just leading more and more to my scissor sweep. Now here I left just in case it would again had the explosion. I didn't want him to explode on my scissor. I needed that poke. I go into my Clefable to be either fodder but also utterly wall um, this poke if he didn't have explosion. Um, right there, I predicted the switch. I was thinking T-Tar. He went into Hera. That's even better because I believe this is probably a scarfed Hera. And um, yeah, I'm able to uh, completely wall it with Weezing. I then go for the Willow, predicting that he would probably switch. And that's awesome, because now I've then burned his T-Tar, and this is basically game at this point. I, I've i seen his whole team, and there is not jack shit that he can do to me. Um, because of that burn, you see I can take those focus punches, I can just set up my scissor. This is what this team is designed to do, to put status on the rest of his team, making sure that scissor 
um, and or the Rachi can just make a clean sweep and not get damaged and I'm able to just sword dance up I believe I have two sword dances at this point easily take out the T-Tar there's nothing he can do to me and guys you can see why it's so important to have that fire type move on T-Tar if you don't have other pokes that throw fire on your team. He then brings in his Scizor. Again, as long as there's no crits, I'm able to just roost off the damage, keep on roosting off that damage while he's stuck into superpower, and um, you know, be able to just finish my setup of sword dances and make a clean, clean sweep of the team. I go for that roost again. Now at this point, I'm confident he does not have the explosion, so I'm not really scared. I know he doesn't isn't gonna have anything super effective against me. That earth power did nothing. So at this point, I'm able to just go for the bullet punch again, take out that clay doll again, in case it had something I didn't like, in case that he just was afraid to use that explosion. I just, he's got to leave. So then right here, this was really, oh my god, but it didn't take me out. Thank god. It wasn't a crit. It just had to have been like max, max damage. And um, yeah, I'm just going to continue on roosting. Also, it was important earlier in the game that I saw that I was faster than him. And because of that, I knew that I can roost off the damage easily. And that puts me in a good spot. I made sure that this Scizor had just enough uh, more uh, speed than the standard Smogan Scizor. Um, here, I go for the Bullet Punch, easily take out the Heracross. And here is his last poke, and goodbye. So. So I hope you enjoyed my first Federation battle. It was definitely exciting for me. And uh, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out, guys.